Hey, what's up everyone? It's Aceto Moreno again, and uh, we're doing another brew review here on Brewed Up. All right, and uh, today we're gonna be showcasing three beers out of Texas again. And um, just because I wanna show a little bit of Texas, that's the only reasoning behind this. Uh, we're starting with the Eureka Heights Mini Boss. This is an IPA. I'm always thrilled about IPAs as well. I mean, unless we're talking about pumpkin beers, thrilled about IPAs. Really excited to try this mini boss right here. Uh, Revolving Brewery, uh, Revolving Brewer, uh, Brewing Company, um, Blood and Honey, an American Ale. This one I love a lot too. And this is a different style of beer than what I normally uh, talk about and recommend. So real excited to share this one with you guys. And a real ale brewing company as well devil's backbone all right so i'm excited about this one too i like this one a lot not really sure why um because i'm not a huge belgium fan um but i like this one for some particular reason i'm gonna share it with you here um in a minute we're gonna taste it do a taste off here and see who is gonna be the champion of today's battle here will it be eureka heights mini boss revolving brewing blood and honey or is it going to be real ale brewing companies devil's backbone and these are different um genres so we have a belgian style here and it's a triple we have a blood and honey and then we have an ipa so different um uh, showcasing different flavors different styles um but we're gonna see which one is gonna be the winner today all right guys so we're starting off here with the mini boss eureka heights Mm. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, this is good stuff right here. I like this one a lot. Hoppy taste. Um, obviously, if you're an IPA lover, hoppy taste. Um, you're going to love the hops in this one. You're going to love um, kind of that full body flavor that hits and wakes up every taste bud in your mouth. Um, similar to the Art Cart IPA by St. Arnold's. To get a little extra swig in there uh, to kind of give you the better experience, but not as heavy on the hoppiness as the Art Cart IPA. Like this a whole lot. I have no idea why I had not tried this one before. This is really good stuff. I would really recommend this if you're an IPA lover, try this out. If you're not an IPA lover, this is also a good one to try because it's not overly hoppy. It's not gonna be like some of those where it just tastes like almost like. Just a super sour sock taste in your mouth. It's not going to give you that flavor, okay? Really good one to try if you're trying to work into um, into trying IPAs. This is a good one to try right here. I like this. You can drink this regularly, um, you know, chilling out by the poolside. Um, maybe, you know, cooking a meal or something. Just having a couple of beers, you know, two or three there, hanging out. Watching the ball game. This is a good one to have right there. All right, so... Let's get back to business. Jump right over to the next one here. Revolving Brewing by Blood and Honey. Right here, American Ale. Give this one a shot. I like to do my little swirl, just like my whiskeys. Let's go. Mm. That's good. smell almost gives me like a when I smell it, it almost gives me a it's kind of like a sweet honey taste but light whenever I smell it but when you taste it to me it almost tastes as if you were um as if you took oranges you know crushed them even with the peel a little bit and some of that peel flavor in there almost like whenever you zest an orange it kind of that fresh zesty or citrusy taste that you get in um, in the actual beer as well so i like that a lot um and then it's it's light so it's not like um not carbonated i'm trying to think of the word like it doesn't give you just you don't just get like ale you don't just get like beer beer taste alone in this one um tastes really good i mean it's a mixture to me of like orange and then like honey flavors but kind of subtle it's not even anything that's just over overly done in this one this is a good one i like this 
Um, I do get this one occasionally, especially during the summertime. This is a good one to drink um, during some hot weather. You just got through cutting the grass um, or just had a long day out, you know, in the heat. Um, or it's just been a long day in general and you just want to kick back a couple of nice beers. Nothing too strong, nothing too fancy. This is a good one right here. I mean, this is to me would be comparable of somebody drinking like a Bud Light or Budweiser, um, even like a Coors Light, Miller Light, but just a little bit fancier taste to it, you know? Um, like, look at me, kind of bougie style, you know? That's kind of like what the, re what the revolver, uh, blood and honey, American Ale tastes like to me. But good stuff. Um, definitely recommend it to give it a shot, especially if you're like, I don't like craft beers, I don't like fancy stuff, blah, 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 blah. This is a good one. Um, you'll like it, and then now you're in the craft beer family, biatch. Let's go to the next one. So this one here, this is the Devil's Backbone. This is a good one. I like this a lot, too. Um, it's a Belgian style, the, and I do like kind of Belgian style beers, even though that was kind of like my older style, what got me kind of into trying different types of beers and everything. Um, I used to try it um, with the, uh, I'm trying to th remember the name of the beer right now. Oh man, they have a little bit bigger, they're a little bit bigger of a bottle. I'm gonna have to remember the name of it here in a second. You have to pardon me because I'm not all fancy and remember every single name of the of beers and stuff, but. trying this one out here for you guys it's good so a little strong taste on the back end um once you once you once you drink it once you've had it in your mouth you're definitely going to get the taste in there but it's good mm -hmm. so you can taste almost like like wheat like a wheat flavor and then it kind of like slowly builds up on you um, in your mouth with your taste buds of this one. This is a really good one as well. I do like this one. As far as drinking several, eh, probably not gonna be the something that I'm gonna do on a regular basis. Maybe one, tolerate maybe two of these. Um, but the flavor is strong. I mean, it, it, it um, kicks up on you when you drink it. But so far, if I'm gonna go by listing them off um, to tell you who the winner is of today's um, Brew review. I'm gonna definitely go with um, Eureka Heights uh, Mini Boss. It was my favorite. Obviously, I'm a IPA favor uh, favorite and lover, but this one was actually really good. I do recommend you try this one. Um, the Revolver was my number two. The Blood and Honey. This one anybody can drink it. I guarantee you. Anybody, even if you like are not a huge beer fan um, or a diehard beer fan, anybody can try this. Whether you like a you know, you like to go with stouts or you like to go with uh, IPAs or you like to go with ales, cream ales, anything like that. You could do a, a revolver, uh, blood, blood and honey, and you'll like this. You'll enjoy it and you'll thank me later. Um, it's a good one. I guarantee you, you'll like it. And uh, next time if we end up meeting up somewhere, I know you're just watching the, the vlog here and I appreciate you guys for doing that. I want you to make sure to subscribe so you get more of the videos whenever they get uploaded here as we do more reviews and uh, please share the information. Um, I'm hoping that this will inspire you to do some reviews as well yourself. I, To me personally, I don't think that there's a particular way, right or wrong way, to do a review. I think anybody can do their own versions of a review. So I recommend you that, that you do your own as well. So. Um, it will be on, on my podcast as well, so you can go and tune into the podcast and listen to it whenever you're not able to watch. Um, and the podcast is on every um, social media platform that hosts podcasts as well. And it's at Cecilio Daily Audio Experience. So y'all can go and check that out and please subscribe to the podcast too, guys. All right. But definitely tune into the vlog. Brewed Up. All right. Is the name of the vlog. And um, winner number one, Mini Boss. Number two, Blood Honey. And then number three is going to be our Devil's Backbone here. So I'm going to go and finish this glass up here. Call it a night. Hope you do the same. Be safe. Be responsible. And uh, these opinions are uh, solely my opinions. Uh, they don't reflect anybody else. And I uh, just wanted to share my insight with you on these brews here. Cheers.
Till the next time.